All right, so we're back. So this is a follow-up on the other video. Um, accessing this 12 volt battery here, making sure they're charged correctly. Um, so we're gonna talk about the procedures that I have from Stellantis, and here's some of the tools that you're gonna need. Uh, so basically we've got a trim tool here, we've got a ratchet with a 10 millimeter, and a voltmeter. So, you know, I'm gonna kind of advise against, you know, messing with anything back here. Like again, these guys should all be under warranty. Um, but obviously, you know, people are people. Um, you know, proofs in the pudding on the internet. People are gonna get back here and mess with stuff. And I feel like if you're gonna do it, at least, you know, if I can give you this information, you can do it correctly. Um, and hopefully I can print any damage to this guy, make it easier when they do show up to the dealership. But again, you know, if they're having issues, bring them to us, you know, we'll fix them. We'll make sure it's done right. But if you are gonna get back here and access this 12 volt battery for charging, here's some of the things, and here's how we're gonna start doing it. So using my trim tool, I'll get in here, I'll be able to get under this panel and be able to pop them out. It's a little difficult one-handed. Lots of push pins. Now this guy has a bunch of orange tabs on him. This is what secures it to the body. A lot of times they either get stuck in here or they fall down here when you remove it. There's a couple down there. I'm gonna have to grab them and reinsert them into these little white clips here. Here's our low voltage 12 volt battery. Um, so it's a little difficult to see the way they got this panel here. So what we've got, negative terminal here, positive terminal here, and the battery strap here. This 10 millimeter nut holds this battery strap, which is also covering, I don't know if you see this where wrapped around here my finger is, the battery hold down also covers the negative terminal. So if we were to get access to the negative terminal and remove this battery, we're gonna to have to take the, bat, the, uh, the strap off here by removing this 10 millimeter nut. So now that I have this 10 millimeter off, I've got the strap off and away over top of the negative post here. Um, here's our bulletin here from Stellantis. Uh, so basically what they want us to do is they want us to test this guy with a multimeter. Um, measure the battery voltage with the post, with the voltmeter, with the voltmeter to be accurate with the measurement. We consider anything below 10 volts to be extremely discharged. So anything 10 volts would need to be charged. They want us to dis uh, disconnect, isolate the negative battery terminal. If equipped with an intelligent battery sensor, disconnect the IBS before disconnecting the negative battery table. Um, so this is your IBS here, intelligent battery sensor. He basically tells uh, all the computers in the car what this guy's voltage is. Um, so they're gonna have us disconnect this guy first. He's right here. A lot of times when this guy gets to net disconnected, it's gonna set some type of code, usually lost communication. After a couple key cycles, that code will usually go away. Now we're able to get over here to this 10 millimeter nut. We're gonna disconnect this negative terminal and that'll give us some more room to move this battery around. With that negative terminal release, we're able to snake this battery out and we've got him sitting right here. We're now able to remove this positive terminal and we can hook a charger directly to this guy with it removed from the battery. Uh, so the reason we're doing that is we don't want a bunch of voltage fed back into the car. There's a lot of sensitive models and that's why they don't want this guy charged directly with it under here. They want it isolated from the vehicle. So our next step in the procedure is gonna say we have removed this battery, we've charged it. We've got it back up to 12 volts like it needs to be. We've reinstalled it in this area and before hooking up the negative ter terminal, um, here's something that they want us to do. So there's a reset procedure. I got this here for us. When reconnecting the 12 volt battery in the Dodge Charger or the Wagon RS, the following step must be performed. If this step is not performed, the coolant pumps will operate in emergency mode and run continuously until the battery is drained. After connecting the negative terminal, we want us to turn the ignition into not ready mode and leave the ignition on for a minimum of one minute and then turn the ignition off. You're also gonna find the same information here on the negative terminal. There's a nice big flag for you. So basically, again, you know, we're gonna hook this guy up. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna set this guy to the run position. We're gonna let him run for a minute and then turn the key off. Uh, this is pretty critical. Um, you know, if you get him here and mess with this battery, charge it, and then don't do this, you can end up with a battery drain and you can be right back in the same boat. There's a lot of relearns that happen. Um, and again, the, the, these cars can do some weird things when you start messing with them, especially disconnecting this battery. More than likely, I will have a couple codes because I've done this. Um, and again, you know, I'm not advocating for anybody to, to repair these things by themselves quite yet, especially when they're warranty, bringing them to us. Like I said, we will fix them right. Um, but just in case you're not in a weird situation, you need to access and do this. I just want to make sure you have this information and you can do it correctly. 
So I've now reconnected and tightened the negative terminal. Lastly, I'm gonna plug in our IBS sensor. And this guy would now be ready for the strap to be hooked up correctly and the 10 millimeter down. Now that I've got this guy hooked up, we're gonna go up to the front. We're gonna cycle this guy to run and let him run for a minimum of one minute. So here we are inside. And there he goes. We're gonna let him cook for about a minute and we'll come back, we'll cycle the key to the off position. So while the key is running, I'm back here, back in the back. And we're just checking everything, making sure everything's hooked up correctly, nice and tight, nothing's loose, nothing's missing. And I fished out my little orange clips, put them back on this guy, now he's ready to go back on. And it's been about a minute. So we can go back and we can kill this guy. So now, uh, with us doing that procedure, um, the, the coolant pumps, you know, they've calibrated, they've done what they need to do, um, so they're not going to be running like they think it's an emergency move, which will end up draining down that 12 volt battery. You know, so again, you know, our two main points of, of charging that 12 volt battery is one, you know, making sure that the negative is disconnected before we charge it. Um, you know, here's our bulletin. If it's not done this way, we can cause damage to the integrated dual charging module, which can result in permanent replacement of the IDCM, um, which is not a fun job to do. Uh, so if this guy is gonna be charged, make sure that negative terminal is disconnected. The second, you know, bullet point here is take note of that flag on the negative terminal, and that's talking about the reset procedure for the coolant pumps. That's also critical. You could end up charging this guy, hooking that thing right back up, hopping in your car and going, and you could end up with a draw like a day or two later because uh, this reset has not been performed and those pumps are gonna be running. So I hope that this uh, helps somebody out. Again, you know, going back to Socket Munchies, uh, Monkey's video, you know, clearly he was having that issue. Um, so, again, you know, if these guys are broken, bring them to the dealership. We're going to fix them for you. Uh, but if you feel the need, you know, I didn't tell you to do it. But here's how you will. Thanks for watching.